Bone Health Boosting bone health to prevent injury and speed healing. It is simpler than you think to protect your bone health. Discover how your diet, physical activity, and other lifestyle factors can affect your bone mass. Bones serve many functions in the body, including structure, organ protection, muscle anchoring, and calcium storage. While it is important to build strong and healthy bones during childhood and adolescence, you can also protect bone health during adulthood. What is the significance of bone health? Your bones are constantly changing, with new bone being formed and old bone being broken down. When you're young, your body creates new bone faster than it degrades old bone, so your bone mass grows. Around the age of 30, most people reach their peak bone mass. The bone remodeling process then continues, but you lose slightly more bone mass than you gain. The likelihood of developing osteoporosis, a condition that causes bones to become weak and brittle, is determined by how much bone mass you have by the age of 30 and how quickly you lose it after that. The more bone you have in the bank and the less likely you are to develop osteoporosis as you age, the higher your peak bone mass. What factors influence bone health? A variety of factors can have an impact on bone health. As an example, the calcium content of your diet. A calcium deficient diet contributes to decreased bone density, early bone loss, and an increased risk of fractures. Physical exercise. Physically inactive people are more likely to develop osteoporosis than physically active people. Tobacco and alcohol consumption. Tobacco use may contribute to bone weakness, according to research. Similarly, more than one alcoholic drink per day for women or two alcoholic drinks per day for men may increase the risk of osteoporosis. Sex. Women are more likely to develop osteoporosis than men because they have less bone tissue. Size. If you are extremely thin, DMI 19 or less, or have a small body frame, you are at risk because you may have less bone mass to draw from as you age. Age. As you get older, your bones become thinner and weaker. Race and family background. You are most likely to develop osteoporosis if you are white or of Asian descent. Furthermore, having a parent or sibling with osteoporosis increases your risk, especially if you have a family history of fractures. Hormone balance. Thyroid hormone excess can result in bone loss because estrogen levels drop during menopause bone loss in women increases dramatically. Menstruation cessation, amenorrhea, prior to menopause raises the risk of osteoporosis. Low testosterone levels in men can result in bone mass loss. Eating disorders, among other things. Food restriction and being underweight both weaken bone in men and women. Food restriction and being underweight both weaken bone in men and women. Furthermore, weight loss surgery and conditions like celiac disease can impair your body's ability to absorb calcium. Some medications. Long-term use of corticosteroid medications like prednisone, cortisone, prednisolone, and dexamethasone is bad for your bones. Aromatase inhibitors used to treat breast cancer, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, methotrexate, some anti-seizure medications such as phenytoin, dilantin, and phenobarbital, and proton pump inhibitors are also known to increase the risk of osteoporosis. What can I do to maintain the health of my bones? You can prevent or slow bone loss by taking a few simple steps. As an example, make sure you get plenty of calcium in your diet. The recommended dietary allowance, RDA, for calcium is 1,000 milligrams me per day for adults aged 19 to 50 and men aged 51 to 70. For women aged 51 and up and men aged 71 and up, the daily dose is increased to 1,200 milligrams. Calcium-rich foods include dairy products, almonds, broccoli, kale, canned salmon with bones, sardines, and soy products like tofu. If you're having trouble getting enough calcium from your diet, talk to your doctor about supplements. Take note of vitamin D. 
To absorb calcium, your body requires vitamin D. The RDA for vitamin D is 600 international units, IS, per day for adults aged 19 to 70. Adults are advised to consume 800 IS per day. For adults 71 and older, the recommendation rises to 800 IS per day. Oily fish, such as salmon, trout, whitefish, and tuna are high in vitamin D mushrooms, eggs, and fortified foods like milk and cereals are also good sources of vitamin D. Sunlight also aids in the production of vitamin D in the body. If you're concerned about getting enough vitamin D, consult your doctor about vitamin D supplements. Make physical activity a part of your daily routine. Walking, jogging, and climbing stairs are all weight-bearing exercises that can help you build strong bones and slow bone loss. Substance abuse should be avoided. You should not smoke. Avoid having more than one alcoholic drink per day if you are a woman. Avoid drinking more than two alcoholic beverages if you are a man. Boosting bone health to prevent injury and speed healing. After a fracture, your bone must heal. A healthy, well-balanced diet rich in essential nutrients can help accelerate this process. Unless your doctor advises you otherwise, you do not need to take supplements. They are not always effective. It's far better to get your nutrition from your plate rather than a pill. Protein. This constitutes roughly half of the structure of your bones. When you have a fracture, your body requires it to rebuild new bone. It also aids your body's absorption and utilization of calcium, another important nutrient for strong bones. Meat, fish, milk, cheese, cottage cheese, yogurt, nuts, seeds, beans, soy products, and fortified cereals are all good sources. Calcium. This mineral also aids in the formation of strong bones, so foods and beverages high in it can aid in the healing of a bone fracture. Adults should consume 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams of calcium per day. Your doctor will determine whether you require a calcium supplement and the appropriate dosage. Milk, yogurt, cheese, cottage cheese, broccoli, turnip, or collard greens, kale, bok choy, soy, beans, canned tuna or salmon with bones, almond milk, and fortified cereals or juice are all good sources of iron. D vitamin. This vitamin should be included in your diet to aid in the healing of your fracture. It aids your blood's absorption and utilization of calcium, as well as the mineralization of your bones. When sunlight hits your skin, it produces vitamin D, so it's a good idea to spend some time outside each day. 15 minutes may be enough for a fair-skinned person. Vitamin D is found naturally in only a few foods, such as egg yolks and fatty fish. But it is added to other foods, such as milk or orange juice, by manufacturers. Adults should consume at least 600 U of vitamin D per day, and those over 70 should consume at least 800 IU. Swordfish, salmon, cod liver oil, sardines, liver, Fortified milk or yogurt, egg yolks, and fortified orange juice are all good sources. What you shouldn't eat. It's a good idea to reduce or eliminate the following. While you are not required to abstain from alcoholic beverages, they do slow down bone healing. You will not be able to build new bone as quickly to repair the fracture. A little too much alcohol can also make you unsteady on your feet increasing your chances of falling and injuring yourself. Too much salt in your diet. Salt can cause you to lose more calcium in your urine. Salt can be found in foods or drinks that don't taste salty, so read labels and aim for one teaspoon, or six grams, of salt per day. Caffeine. Excessive caffeine consumption, more than four cups of strong coffee per day, can slow bone healing slightly. It may cause you to pee more, which may result in more calcium loss through your urine. A small amount of coffee or tea should suffice.